Good evening, and welcome to another edition of Recommendations from the Couch. This week I happened to finish a really good book and realized I haven't done one in a while on what would really be considered my favorite genre. If I had to pick one, historical fiction is usually always where I go to. So tonight, everything we're going to look at is a historical fiction book. The first one being the one I just finished this week called Things We Didn't Say by Amy Lynn Green. This one is a new and out just from the last couple months or so. Um, it's a, a story about Joanna Berglund, who is a linguist student in Minnesota during World War II. Um, it was uncommon at that time for women to have scholarships to the university and a linguistic student at that. She's called home um, as in Minnesota there is a concentration camp opened that has German soldiers that they sent over to be held. And so she becomes the linguist who scans the letters that come in and scans the letters they send out and makes sure that nothing goes through that anybody needs to know. Um, as she gets to know these people that are um, prisoners here in the camp, the lines blur between um, what's right and what's wrong. And eventually she does become charged with treason and you'll have to read to see what happens. But again, Things We Didn't Say by Amy Lynn Green, really good historical fiction. Not all historical fiction is World War II, although that's where the bulk of it falls. This one though, My Name is Mary Sutter by Robin Oliveira, is, takes place during the Civil War. And in this one, Mary Sutter is a midwife and she wants to become a surgeon, but of course during the Civil War, that wasn't a job that many women held. So she takes her medicine bag and goes to Washington DC and decides to help with the soldiers that are coming back injured from the Civil War. Um, she studies under two very you know, accomplished surgeons. Um, and of course her family wants her to come home and to give up this crazy dream. This is a really solid Civil War, um, strong female protagonist. My name is Mary Sutter. Now this one is truly one of my favorites. I Was Anastasia by Ariel Lahan. I can't tell you a whole lot without giving it away, but I can tell you that um, it's one of my favorite eras to read about, about the Romanovs and how they were banished, and did any of the Romanov family really ever survive, and this one's about Anastasia. Uh, this is a what-if story, and I guarantee you when you read the last page, you will go back and read the first page again, and it will be, it'll stick with you for quite some time. I Was Anastasia by Ariel Lahan. Of course, the last one was one of my all-time favorites. This is also one of my all-time favorites. Um, the Lost Girls of Paris by Pam Genoff. Anything Pam Genoff writes is excellent. This is truly one of my favorites. Um, this takes place just after World War II. Um, the main character in the book finds a suitcase at Grand Central Station and decides to take it with her. It's, it's abandoned. Inside it are the names of 12 women who were sent overseas as radio um, people, as journalists, that never came back and their history is a little sketchy as to why they didn't come back. So the, she decides to figure out where these 12 women ended up at, what the true story really is. Um, an excellent, excellent espionage spy story during World War II. Um, goes to show you that there were, there were women in the war that we really never heard a lot about. This one is based on uh, a true, true stories. So this did really happen, but this is a fictionalized version. So The Lost Girls of Paris by Pam Genoff, again, another excellent historical fiction. Hope you're all staying warm this week. Hopefully by this time next Saturday night, we will be out of the deep freeze. In the meantime, the library is open regular hours. If the weather looks iffy, give us a call first. You can always check our Facebook and our website pages um, to see if we're open as well. But at the moment, we plan on seeing you Monday morning. Until then, have a great week.